Are you ready to uncover the secrets behind one of Israel's most controversial projects? Join me as we delve into the depths of Ben-Gurion's legacy and explore whether it's paving the way for Israeli dominance on the global stage. In this video, we'll unravel the hidden agenda behind the Ben-Gurion Canal and examine its potential to shift the balance of power worldwide. Is it a strategic asset or a cleverly disguised power grab? Let's unpack the motives driving Israel's ambitious canal project and discuss how it could threaten international stability. In the history of Israel's big projects lies the long-discussed Ben-Gurion Canal project, a plan that could change the nation's economy. Named after the respected founding father, David Ben-Gurion, this project has been discussed since it was first thought of in the late 1960s. Its aim? To make a new waterway for ships as another option for the vital Suez Canal, which connects Europe and Asia. But as time passes and Israel's military actions in Gaza continue, talks about stopping the fighting become less critical. In this busy time, we look at the history surrounding the Ben-Gurion Canal project. We will explore its possible importance compared to the Suez Canal's complicated politics. We must look back at history to understand why this bold idea was proposed. We'll go back to the Arab-Israeli conflict in 1956, a big moment when the Suez Canal closed and caused problems for global trade. In this critical part of history, we see why having another canal controlled by Israel starts to make sense. David Ben-Gurion is a crucial figure in the big story of Israel's past. He's remembered for creating Israel and being the first prime minister in 1948. His ideas still guide the country today. In the 1960s, a big idea emerged, the Ben-Gurion Canal. This ambitious plan aimed to connect the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. It would go through the Gulf of Aqaba, pass by Eilat, and then head west to the Dead Sea Basin and the Mediterranean. This route, a sign of clever engineering, would have avoided the Gaza Strip on its way to the sea. But even as people dreamed of this new waterway, the Suez Canal was a big concern. Egypt's impressive canal already linked the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. It was a quick route for ships traveling between oceans, saving time and distance. In this clash of ideas, the Ben-Gurion Canal represented ambition, while the Suez Canal remained an essential part of maritime history. In the past, sailing from east to west was a huge challenge. Ships carrying goods and hopes set off on risky journeys around Africa. It was expensive and dangerous, with risks from both nature and people. The dangerous waters around Africa posed a big problem. Unpredictable weather, strong winds, and fierce storms made life hard for brave sailors who risked their lives and jobs. The threat of piracy made the journey even scarier. But then came the Suez Canal, a symbol of cleverness and progress in the rough seas. It was an idea born in the 1800s that changed how the world traded. Built by the French Suez Canal Company, it officially opened in 1868, making a quick path between the Mediterranean and Red Seas. Over time, ownership of the canal changed hands. In 1875, French and British interests teamed up. In 1888, a promise of free passage for ships was made, making the canal even more important for global trade. The Suez Canal wasn't just a waterway, but a path to progress. It made trading more accessible and changed how countries worked together. Being the shortest route between Asia and Europe, it saved time and money for ships. In the story of human achievements, the Suez Canal is a shining example of what people can do to overcome the dangers of the sea. The Suez Canal has faced challenges, both political and economic. In 1956, a significant change occurred when Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser took over the Suez Canal Company, making it national property. This move was surprising and started a difficult time for the canal. The consequences were quick and widespread. After the tripartite aggression, the canal closed, causing chaos in global trade. The Suez crisis affected countries worldwide, causing problems in diplomatic talks and business meetings. Despite the crisis, the canal bounced back. It reopened in 1957, showing that things were getting back to normal. But the journey wasn't over yet. In 1961, the Nasser project started, making it possible for bigger ships to use the canal. Still, the threat of conflict was always there. The Six-Day War in 1967 led to Egypt closing the canal again, stopping goods from moving and causing trouble for global trade. The canal's importance for international trade was evident, helping countries worldwide. In the big story of maritime history, the Suez Canal shows what people can do, even in tough times. It's a symbol of progress, even when politics are complicated. In the big story of maritime history, old stories mix with what's happening today, shaping how goods move around the world. 
This was clear when the Suez Canal, an essential part of global trade, became the center of a big problem. By chance, the ever given a vast ship got stuck in the canal, blocking the way for other boats. This caused a big traffic jam, with ships waiting a long time to pass through. This delay raised costs and messed up the flow of goods. This showed how easily global trade can be affected by one thing going wrong. But in the chaos, people started talking about finding a different way for ships to go. This idea could significantly change things, making the Suez Canal less critical. This could cause problems for Egypt's power and change how countries work together. In international relations, things are constantly changing, and the future of global trade is up in the air. In the complex world of global trade, the Suez Canal is a big player, its waters flowing with economic activity. This human-made wonder has been crucial for Egypt's economy for many years, showing its importance on the world stage. The canal has made a lot of money by charging tolls and fees for ships passing through, bringing in billions of dollars. In just 2021, more than 20,000 ships sailed through its waters, showing how much it's needed. But the canal is more than just a way for ships to travel. It's essential for global trade, helping businesses worldwide. It's not only helped Egypt grow, but it's also made businesses more efficient everywhere. However, there's a significant change on the horizon. The Ben Gurion Canal could drastically change things, making the Suez Canal less critical. This ambitious project would control many global trade routes, which could hurt Egypt's economy and power. In this high-stakes game of politics, Gaza becomes essential. There are stories from the past that even talk about using nuclear weapons to control this area, showing how valuable it is. As countries fight over who controls shipping routes, the future of the Suez Canal is uncertain. In history, things have never been more serious, and decisions made by influential people affect everyone. Thinking about using nuclear weapons to make a canal in the Negev Desert is a scary idea. It would cause huge problems all over the world, with lots of people getting hurt and the environment getting damaged. It could even start a big war. However, even as countries argue about who controls what, there are practical problems. Making a canal through the middle of the Palestinian area is tricky. It might be cheaper, but there are a lot of people living there, which makes it hard to do. In the middle of fighting, many people's lives are at risk. Recent military actions in Gaza have forced hundreds of thousands of people to leave their homes, and the number of civilians hurt or killed keeps going up. Bombs are being dropped all over, especially in the northern part of Gaza, and lots of innocent people, including women and kids, are dying. Even the biggest hospital in Gaza, Al-Shifa, has been hit, showing how bad things are. People are accusing Israel of making people leave their homes and trying to get rid of particular groups of people. Even though they say it's not true, it's still a big problem. The area's situation is complicated and more severe than ever. With all this fighting going on, countries need to talk and find a peaceful way to solve the problems. Every decision made affects countries and millions of people. As the world watches what's happening, finding peace becomes important, giving hope even in tough times. As we conclude, remember to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Your support fuels our mission for a better tomorrow. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards understanding and peace.